This is K.M. Wyland, and you're listening to the 68th episode of the Wordplay Podcast. Tacked on the bulletin board of my computer, I have a cutout from a literary magazine that says, Read, 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 like your life depends on it. Because it does. I have no doubt I would be a voracious reader, even if I somehow wasn't a writer. But the fact that I am a writer means I get a double bonus out of reading. There's nothing like cracking open an excellent story and letting it carry you off to faraway worlds, especially if the lessons you learn along the way help you refine your own writing. Finding time to read and write can be a challenge, but if you want to write, you can't neglect reading. If you look at it that way, it doesn't even have to be a guilty pleasure. I'm excited to announce, at last, the launch of my new website and a host of associated goodies. Be sure to drop by K.M. Wyland, that's W-E-I-L-A-N-D, dot com, and take a look around. There are all sorts of new nooks and crannies to explore, including special sections for readers and writers. You'll also find that all of the new products and services I've been talking about and offering as winning Friday prizes throughout September are now fully available. You can find the CD, Conquering Writer's Block and Summoning Inspiration, the editing service, First Chapter Story Consultation, and the exciting new Helping Writers Become Authors Network, among other things. So be sure to hop on by and go exploring. Of course, my goal is to use the site to help you as best I can with your own writing goals. So if there's a way you think I could be doing better, please drop me a line at km.wyland at ymail.com and let me know. Don't overuse names in dialogue. The latest post in the video series on my blog points out a common and annoying dialogue pitfall, and explains how to avoid it. You can watch the video on my blog at wordplay-kmwyland.blogspot.com. New videos are posted every Wednesday. Meanwhile, enjoy this week's podcast, The Worst Writing Advice. Last week I gave my followers from Twitter and Facebook a chance to sound off on the best writing advice they've ever received. This week, I flipped the question on its head and asked you all to report on the worst advice you've received. Some of it ranged from downright discouragement to bits that perhaps are specific only to some of us. Following are the pick of the litter. Age limits. No one has anything to write or should attempt to write before they are 40. Holly Heisey. Audience. Don't worry about your audience. Just write for you. It sounded good at first, but it really isn't good advice at all. Melissa Powell Ortega Don't write something unless you think it's marketable. Alyssa Hope Wagner Bad writing. There are always editors. William Price Discouragement. Stop writing. At Jester Hay Don't waste paper. Nora Spineo Not quite writing advice, but when I told my college advisor, when I was an English major, that I didn't want to teach or to go to law school or grad school, he suggested I change majors. Um, Becky Levine. Inspiration. If you wait long enough, inspiration will come. Wrong. Best advice? Start writing. If you are lucky, inspiration will sneak in. At Judy Borger. Non-advice. How about no advice at all? Until I got internet, getting an opinion or a drop of advice out of someone was like pulling teeth with a pair of pliers. Anna L. Walls. Rules. Boldly break all the rules. Tanya Dennis. Follow all the writing rules. Tian Adams. You have to follow all the writing rules. A good writer told me that, but that squelches a lot of creativity. Rules are good, but not absolute when writing. Sarah Holman. Write what you know. Write what you know. If I wrote about what I know, my books would be pretty boring. At Writer One. Write what you know. I don't think this is good advice, because we learn as we write, research, etc. Nora Spinayo. Now it's your turn. What's the worst writing advice you've ever received? Have you ever heard any of the above and lived to regret it? Disagree with anything? Join the conversation by leaving a comment at wordplay-kmwyland.blogspot.com. Thank you for listening to the Wordplay Podcast. To read a transcript of this episode, 
visit me on the web at wordplay-kmyland, that's w-e-i-l-a-n-d, dot blogspot.com, and be sure to listen again next week. Mm-hmm.